mid-term rentals versus short-term rentals. Furnished finder, most of the things I've seen on that, people say the nurses and people that try to rent from there are always trying to negotiate because it's all mid-term level stuff. People seem to just shop and ask for discounts like crazy. That's what I've heard. I usually <clears throat> open apples like that. Because of that, I just stick to short-term rental, but people have inquired to me saying, hey, I need to rent this for three months on these far out dates. Also, the benefit of that is they see an insanely high price to rent out all three months. So when they see 20 grand for an example, or three months would be more than that. Point is you can negotiate down and they pay you 10 grand a month or eight grand a month. So I've had it happen many times on my short-term rental to where I put a mid-term rental in there. As far as Furnish Finder, they also charge you to list on there. And then all the feedback I've ever seen is people just lowballing like crazy. And you're already keeping it lower because you understand mid-term is lower. So because of that, I've always been turned off by it. And because of that, I've already seen mid-term come in the form of people inquiring through my short-term rentals. That's my opinion on that.